Um, so moving on, completely shifting gears here, Airplane. Yeah. With an exclamation point. Also came out. That came out July 2nd, 1980. All the, all the heavy, serious, violent movies had come out. Uh, Jim Abrams, uh, Jerry and David Zucker, who later worked on Naked Gun and Basketball and Scary Movie 3 and kind of really just revolutionized the idea of a spoof movie. Yeah, Lampoon. Yeah. Mm. Um, and comedy was in a good place right then because uh, Saturday Night Live had started up in 1975 and the National Lampoon magazine had started in 1970. So we kind of had this sort of... You know, it's the seventies was sort of a, sort of a goofy time. I'm guessing yeah. there were so, so many schlocky uh, uh, disaster movies yeah. at the time too. But, uh, like that was such a big deal. You had to but make fun actually, of them. You know, yeah. But the thing is, do you have you guys uh, ever seen Zero Hour? No, it's I this really want to see that. Now. Movie yeah. that it's is, the same plot. It's right? exact. It's exact same dialogue. Everything. It's the, I, I believe it's actually credited in the movie. There's the main is guy's the name is Ted East? Striker. Every, yeah. Everything yeah, is the right. exact so same. Funny. So it's a, it, they're lampooning an actual movie down to the same dialogue, down to like a, a Doctor Rumac character. Yeah. Everything is in I there. See that. And I, I think there's a, on YouTube. There's there's like a, 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 a kind of a juxtaposed yeah. uh, video showing. The, the played straight scene and then the lampoon scene. And it's so impossible to watch Zero Hour through all the way and not like just laugh your ass but off. But that, yeah, and that was, this movie kind of introduced this this kind of template of having an actor like Graves or someone yeah. like, who usually plays it straight yeah. and then yeah. plays it against this character, right? Yeah. And then every single line, like you take a line like, what was it, like I take my coffee black like my men? Yeah. <laughs> and it's said by a little girl, right? Yeah. Like they just kind of play against type and that's the whole humor. And nothing's changed in the last, you know, 30 years. We get all the kind of and modern, like, no scary movies. in the white zone at yeah. LAX, yeah. let me tell you. Oh, is it still? Well, now we yeah. get stuff like, what is it, like, Meet the, meet the Spartans or whatever. Yeah, oh, it's, okay. it's, got, it's got a they little bit. They all use that same concept, but yeah. they get a little lazier. They just lampoon so many different movies that the joke yeah. is just, here's a movie we're going to reference, whereas this movie, yeah. at least, I mean, it, it had so many crazy lines that, that are the equivalent of internet meme, memes yeah. nowadays, right? Yeah. Don't call me Shirley. It's a live yeah. action, you know, Mad Magazine. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's going Leslie on there. Nielsen had a fart machine on the set just to keep the actors on their toes, <laughs> and it would make little fart noises. Nice. He did yeah. that shtick for years, I guess. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, just, yeah. It was just his that thing. That was his thing, yeah. The well, star of Forbidden you, Planet. It's a great really job a if you can get lover. it. Yeah. <laughs> fart machine guy. Um, That's right, Forbidden Planet. That's right. <laughs> A couple other uh, big comedies that came out were Caddyshack and Blues Brothers. So it was like oh, yeah. it's a it's a great time for comedy. Yeah. It was kind of uh, a, yeah. kind of a, unbelievable. Not about a renaissance, but it's just in terms of in terms of modern humor because it's weird because jokes really they kind of age strangely, you know. But also like yeah. that style of humor is still the I mean, you look at Judd Apatow stuff, mm -hmm. and and even though yeah, he owes a lot to like uh, James Brooks and and uh, John Hughes in some ways. There's still that man child sense of humor that hasn't gone away, yeah. you know, and that's sort of just wacky, pop culture reference laced, but still some highbrow humor mm -hmm. thrown yeah. in. Every now and then there's like a reference to a The 90s piece examples of art are something. Adam Sandler and Chris Farley movies. Yeah. 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 But Blues Brothers, which we just brought up, is so different. I feel like that's kind of a genre that's such a unique movie. Yeah. The way it's constructed. Sure, you have your like Carrie Fisher cameos, which is similar to modern Steven comedy Spielberg. movies. But uh, Spielberg is in yeah. it. But it's the template of the movie is so different. Like even that giant car, uh, the the chase yeah. scene at the end, wrecking all the police cars. Yeah. It's such a cool movie that is very unique. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 